We're going to begin with the historic rainfall that's drenching southern Florida. You've seen the pictures. This was a view from the sky yesterday. The streets were inundated with water. Inundated is a word here. We're talking about very dangerous conditions. At least two people have died. There were even pictures of fish swimming in the streets. Some parts of Florida have seen up to two feet of rain. Manuel Bohorkas is in hard-hit Miami. Good morning to you, Manuel. I'm trying to look at the picture and look at you at the same time. What can you tell us? Good morning to you, Gail. Fortunately, the storms last night were not as bad as the day before. So we've noticed this morning that the water is actually starting to go down in many of the impacted neighborhoods. But there are still pockets of Miami that look like this, and there are more storms in the forecast. The concern is they could unleash a whole new set of problems. It's expected to be a fourth straight day of excessive rainfall in South Florida, flooding countless homes and roadways from Fort Myers to Fort Lauderdale, which has already been hard hit. Look like a beginning to a zombie movie, just cars littered everywhere on top of sidewalks and the median in the middle of the street. North of Miami, the driver of this vehicle drove into a canal, mistaking it for a road. First responders had to use divers and a crane to fish it out. The driver was able to escape. On Thursday, officials continued to remind people to stay off the roads. If you don't have to be out, don't be out. Hallandale Beach was the scene of some of the worst flooding earlier this week after storms dropped roughly 20 inches of rain in just a few hours. Although the city is no stranger to intense thunderstorms, for some longtime residents, this deluge has been different. 13 years, there's been storms, there's been rain, heavy rain, but never, never like this. This is extreme. This is the worst we've ever seen. Three miles north in Hollywood, Florida, Eric Aragon was forced to evacuate his home after it flooded. Oh. He and his family were forced to escape out their window. How concerned are you that it's going to happen again with these storms in the forecast? Well, to be honest with you, I, would not, I don't think I would want to stay around here because you guess what? It's only going to get worse. And honestly, I don't want anything to happen to myself or my family. So, yeah, we're going to leave. There is a flood watch in effect for much of South Florida through tonight, but the rain could last into tomorrow. Nate? Manny, thank you.